Hey yo, welcome to my latest video everyone. Uh, if anybody is on right now, I appreciate it. It is still a little early in this video. However, we have a lot to go through today. I'm going to try and file through everything as quick as possible. Don't want to keep everybody here too long if anybody decides to check it out live. But this is an exclusive hobby only break. I went to the LCS, just got back, grabbed a few things. This is also my first time on this new setup. Um, got a new table, got a new stand, got a new light, and quite frankly, I'm digging it. So, I also got some supplies, my plastics, because load up on your plastics, guys. Plastics, plastics, plastics. And... We're going to go over what we're going to do today. So here, starting out first, I have one jumbo hobby pack of 2021 Donruss. Now, this is a paper product. Uh, I've made it well known that I prefer chromium technology. However, this is very expensive. This basketball is going for a lot. And out of this pack specifically, I like the inserts. Uh, these lower end products tend to have some of the coolest inserts, quite frankly. And in this is the Net Marvels, is what I am specifically looking for. Uh, also, of course, one of ones, and these have very cool laser cuts in them. Not the best uh, draft class, quite frankly. Nothing compared to last year's uh, with Ja and Zion, but very cool. Also, I have two packs of 2021 upper deck hockey we are of course looking for the young guns uh inserts that are in these those are the most sought after rookie cards in hockey in upper deck upper deck is where you're going to get your hockey cards they are the unique um holders of the licensing for hockey so you will get the cool cards out of this so upper deck uh, might get autos in this might get autos out of that don Russ, but the star of the show today folks is going to be this brick this brick is a hobby box of series one tops baseball you're looking for the rookie studs like pache we're looking for bomb we're looking for carlson uh some of the other guys uh torkelson unfortunately i do not believe is in this you got to go through bowman to get torkelson but you have a chance at one autograph or relic card hopefully it's the autograph autographs do not come easy in these hobby boxes so let's start it out i figure we'll jump right into hockey first get that out of the way and here we go again thank you anybody that comes on anybody watching this after the fact, I appreciate you. So here we go. If it wasn't so tough. All right. Wow, these are not made like... It's like I need a knife to open this thing. Holy cow. Totally not made out of the same material as, say, hockey... Excuse me, as basketball or football. This thing does not want to open. I guess that would be really easy to tell repacks. So here we go. Finally got it. Had to get a little bit of help from Mr. Knife. And here we go. First pack. I am looking for the goalie for the new uh, Long Island Islanders, the New York Islanders. Hopefully, I will hit that. So here we go. First up, Carl Hagelin. Austin Matthews, who was a rookie stud when he first came out. His cards go for a lot of money. And looks like we got some sort of insert or something. Robin Lerner. I always keep uh, my goalies. Oh, hey, look at this. UD Portraits rookies. Nikolai. I'm going to go for it. Knizov. Knizov. Definitely Russian. Nikolai Knizov. Hey, sweet. I'm actually going to give that some love real quick. A little one cent love. Here we go. Plastics, plastic, plastics. I guess they're going for a totally 1990s old school look. I actually do not recall anything like this in a 90s set back in the day, but that is definitely the upper deck 90s look. Oh, yeah. UD Portraits Rookies. 
Very cool though. Very nostalgic looking insert card. 1990s, my heyday, my formative years as they say. So here we go, let's finish off this pack. We got a Jane Van Remdistick. Oh man, hockey's rough, bro. It's, hockey and soccer, rough. Rasmus Anderson. We have a Jake Smith for the Oilers and a Scott Lawton. All right, next pack, hockey, upper deck. I wonder if I can open this one with my strong hand. Yep, look at that. Use my strong hand. All right, let's see what we got in here. Hopefully we hit a young gun. That's what we're looking for. Ryan Reeves. Kyle Connor. Jacob Vrana. Ooh. Adam Gaudet. Elias Peterson, who I believe was the first pick in the draft a few years ago. I believe. I could be wrong. Nope, second round. There was a different uh, Swede. <laughs> uh, Sean Walker, Brian Domelin, and Cam Atkinson round out the two hobby packs of hockey. So out of those two packs, we did hit a rookie. Unfortunately, it was not a young gun, but I will take it for the San Jose Sharks. Moving on. We are now going to go ahead and get into our Hobby Jumbo Pack of 2021 Donruss Basketball. Wish me luck on this. You can hit a monster out of this. You can hit, I mean, a four-figure card on this if you hit a, a, a ball. Unfortunately, uh, you know, he shit the bed recently and out for the season. I think he tore a, tore a peck or something. I don't know. Them balls don't look real sturdy to me, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here we go. Big old fat jumbo pack. Come on, auto. First card, we are looking at a Derek Rose. Followed by, okay, we're going to be on a roller coaster already, I can tell. Ooh, look like I saw some color. Steven Adams, who is now on a different team. Hey, Steph Curry. Always take Steph Curry. We have a Mikhail Bridges, whose rookie cards are flying right now. Darius Garland, who was a rookie I collected like crazy last year. Bam Adebayo, whose rookie autos, if you can get them, grab them. Joel Embiid, who might win the MVP this year. Damian Lillard, who's a stud. Hey, we're hitting studs at least here. I like it. Shake Milton, who I've been reading about. Bryn Forbes, the Spurs are looking young now, and now that they dropped Aldridge, they're looking real good. Jalen Brown selling like hotcakes. Wesley Matthews, he's a bum. Followed by, damn, I am seeing color back there, folks. Mark Keese Chris, who just got bounced from his team. Danilo Gallinari. Brooke Lopez. Doug McDermott. Miles Turner, and do we have ourselves an auto? What do we have here? First insert. Oh, this is a thicky. A 22 of 25. Onyeka Okongwu, Atlanta Hawks, three color jersey patch. Very cool. Considering I only bought one pack of cards, got a cool first insert and out of 99 rated rookie Ziki Naji. now I have been hearing good things about this kid so this is a pretty sweet card so I'm going to give these guys some love real quick looks like I did pretty damn good on this pack um, for those of you who are interested in knowing how much this pack cost uh, I almost shit my pants quite frankly because it costs $100 for one pack, one fat pack. That's going to need a 135 point. Going to have to grab that one out of the supply real quick. Because, uh, like I said, this boy is a thicky. Good Lord. That's at least 130 point. It's got to be. Maybe 150 point. 
I've talked about this in my past videos before. Uh, the point scale is not easy to grasp when you first start out in the hobby. I'll tell you what, in the industry, um, th this size is. But if you're lucky enough to find one of these, your local LCSs will usually have them. This is a card thickness point gauge, and it'll tell you. So basically what you do is you take your card and its thickness, and you line it up, and look at that. It is a 130 point. I uh, was spot on. It was either between 130, 150, 180. But this is the standards for thickness and to gauge it. You can get these from any type of supply store, really. Get your plastics. All right, moving on. Oh, I got to gotta get this guy some one cent love, too. And there's another insert behind this bad boy. Hoping for another rated rookie, please. I'm going to do some price checks on these later. And it is another rated rookie for the Cleveland Cavaliers. We have an Isaac Okoro, who I also believe is a pretty good rookie this year. Hey, we hit a crunch time. It's not a net marvels, but crunch time's cool. And it is a stud in James Harden. So let me get this guy sleeved up real quick. Because I'm very happy with that hit. You know what? I'm actually going to get these guys in some plastique as well. Because I want to protect them. These things are worth quite a bit of money, folks, nowadays. Basketball. I mean, I was thinking about getting a basketball hobby box. But I didn't want to spend $500 and get a skunk. So... I mean, because really, the cheapest basketball hobby box is five hundred dollars, and the average is around a thousand. It is outrageous. So I'm pretty sure I've got a one. Yeah, I got a ton of one fifties and one eighty uh, plastics. It's the normal thirty five points and fifty five points are even harder to find nowadays. Crazy, crazy, outrageous. So here we go. Let's give a little show off to our hit out of our $100 hobby pack. And we have a crunch time. Very cool looking card. I like a little bit of edge wear there. Um, you know what, though? I'm pretty skilled at that, so we can take that off fairly easily. You know, you just give it a little bit. That's why I was telling you about these in previous videos. They do quite a good job. Look at that. Clean that edge basically right up. You just got to be smooth with it. Beautiful. All right. Let's give this guy some love. This is probably going to be a pretty long video, quite frankly, folks. Hopefully, I can be entertaining enough for when you do watch it. You don't have to fast forward too much. But that box of Series 1 is going to take forever. So let's get this out of the way and finished up. We have an Obi Toppin. Nice. I was wishing this would be... Ooh, a Sean Kemp on the back of that, too. Zero gravity. Very cool. Uh, Toppin for the uh, Knicks. The Knicks have two very good rookies on their squad right now. I'm hoping... They can turn it around. Who knows if that's possible with Dole in there, but we'll see how it goes. This is a very cool card. See what I was telling you about the inserts? Zero Gravity Sean Kemp. That is a very cool card for a guy from my formative years that I was a big fan of, him and Gary Payton. Oh, ho, oh, oh, followed by Annette Marvels. Are we looking at a Trey Young maybe? Yes, we are. Net Marvel's Trey Young Peachtree. Nice. I would have taken a Luca, would have been sweet in that too, but I do like myself some Trey Young. Boy, his rookie cards are with a lots of money. So, very cool cards. Another really cool hit. Get in the Net Marvel. See, you're not guaranteed these either. You're not guaranteed to get one of these in a pack. So I'm quite happy so far with how this $100 pack turned out. And we have a rated rookie, not the right Hornet, unfortunately. Vernon Carey Jr., rated rookie. 
followed by a man. They are killing me today. Aduka Azabuki. That is a hundred percent correct. Followed by oh, this is a good one to get to. Denny Avija. Avija, yeah. Uh, he's a good one, quite frankly. I just got a rookie auto of his, followed by... <laughs> Wee! Onyeka Okwangwu, my boy, for Atlanta, right here. So we got his jersey rookie, and damn, another Hornet, Grant Ryler, rated rookie, not the one we were hoping for, CJ Ellerby. And finally, a Nico Manon, which is another good red rookie. Unfortunately, did not get Wiseman or Ball. That Ball card in this, I think, would have paid for the pack by itself. Unfortunately, did not get that in this $100 hobby pack. But I'm pretty happy with the turnout here. Did pretty good, quite frankly. Um... You know what? We have so many packs to go through still in that I'm just going to get this stuff settled, put it to the side, and jump right into that other box. How about that? And I will sort later on. So still, very cool pack. We, of course, got our out of 25 jersey card. We have the out of 99 Zeke Naji, who I do believe is pretty good, and Isaac Okoro, who as well I believe is pretty good in that yellow laser and red laser so moving on all right hobby box time big boy time there is a ton of possibilities out of this hobby box here to pull so let's dive right in all right, I'm going to need a little opener help here. Maybe I should have prepped that. You know what I'm saying? That probably would have been a good idea to prep everything right. But I think it looks good when you open it up, show everybody. Yeah, buddy, this is fresh. This is pack fresh. This is box fresh. Mmm, smell that new car smell. Yeah. All right, here we go. Big old brick tops series one. This is... Oh, it's thick, too. This was a thick boy. There was about 35 boxes to choose from at the LCS. Hey, so this is what I was really happy about in these two. This is the silver pack. You get one of these in every hobby box. I believe it has four, tra yep, four trading cards inside. They should be silver moho technology, I believe. So I have only actually opened one other hobby box of this this year. So you guys will be doing this with me for only the second time this year usually i buy five or six of these every year get a whole set while i'm at it try to hit some cool stuff but we're definitely looking for some one-on-ones in here uh that would be pretty sweet so here we go first pack i'm actually gonna move this some bitch come on all right first pack man they thickies again we're going to be going through a hundred damn cards here. Damn, I wonder if this has the jersey card in the very first pack. Does it? No. Just a shitload of cards in here. All right, here we go. Going to rifle through these guys with a Robbie Ray. A little uh, White Sox old school action. A Nico Goodrum. These are also, if you can see, this is the 70-year anniversary of tops all these cards have a 70th anniversary on it. Mar marcella zuna we have an anthony satander buster posey who was one of my favorite players probably still is but out of fsu we have our first rookie card nate pearson who's actually flying off the shelves his rookie cards are selling for quite a bit vladimir guerrero jr we have a jesus aguilar a rafael Devers insert, I believe that's the, so if that's the 35th anniversary card, that's going to be what, 1985, something like that, I'm horrible at math, that's why I went to full sale, <laughs> okay, Blake Snell, who I just got a, a rookie autograph of, Corey Seager, I think that is for the World Series MVP, that's actually a pretty cool card, I will be keeping that, 
followed by Marcus Simeon, and another rookie card of Leody Tavares, who was, his first rookie card, I believe, was in, like, 2011, something like that. This is his year to shine, finally. Uh, I sold a bunch of his rookies off real early because I just couldn't wait for the some bitch to show his skills. So here we go. Next pack. Series 1, 2021. Dalton Varsho. This is one of the rookies in here that you are looking for. Followed by another rookie of Santiago España, I think. Espinal. Espinal. All right. Another rookie card. Followed by another rookie card of Isaac Paredes, who, you know, has some possibilities. Hey, and one of the other rookies we are looking for, Christian Pache for the Atlanta Braves. Followed by, in my mind, the best player in the past 25 years, Miguel Cabrera, last Triple Crown winner. Followed by a Willie Calhoun, Salvador Perez, Albert Almora Jr., Julio Urias, and we have ourselves an insert. Stars and service, Andrew McCutcheon. If you guys know about him and inserts or short prints, he has a pretty crazy one of Uncle Drew. Very sought after, very funny card. With he looks like he's sipping on lean in the dugout. <laughs> Brady Singer. Coming out of that stud farm pitching squad they have out there in KC. Uh, the only other better pitching, young pitching squad, I think, is probably the Padres. So then we have an Alex Verdugo, who used to play for the Dodgers, but now Ben Intendi is over there. Patrick Sandoval and Miguel Rojas. All right, next pack. Damn, we got to rifle through these, some bitch. All right. Next pack. Damn, look at them dreads fly, bruh. Freddie Galvis. Jacoby Jones. Future stars, Justin Dunn. A rookie of Monty Harrison. A rookie of Joey Bart, who is another one you're looking for in here. Followed by a Roman Quinn, Tommy Edmond, just got a rookie auto of his, Joey Gallo from 2011, also Lewis Brinson duel on that, Liam Hendricks, rookie of Mitch White, future stars Trent Gresham, he was in Series 1 last year, you were looking for him, followed by an Eduardo Rodriguez, who I just got a nice rookie auto of. Dansby Swanson and Justice Sheffield in that pack to round it out. Here we go. Next pack. I believe this is pack four. Damn, these things are so thick. They're tricking me. All righty. Here we go. Joey Votto. Jordan Alvarez, who you are looking for last year. Nico Horner, future stars. Hoping he pans out. David Peterson, rookie card. Kettle Marte. Javier Baez. Oh. Juan Segura. We got a Colton Wong. Ooh, our first silver is of Shane Bieber. This is the silver hollow foil. These are not numbered. Okay, and this is a league leaders card. So not the best one you want to get for your first insert or first parallel, but I will take it. Ryan Brazier, followed by Nolan Arenado, who is now a Cardinal, followed by Paul Goldschmidt, who is already a Cardinal, Atlanta Braves, and the Minnesota Twins to round that pack out. All right, next up, next pack. Whoop. Already hitting shit. You know what? My arm gave out there because of leaning over this thing, stretching my muscles. I'll tell you what. This is a workout opening all these damn packs. All this plastic and paper weighs so much. All right, Hunter Harvey. 
Danny Mednick, followed by a Mike Clevinger. Yeah, that San Diego Padres pitching staff is out of control. They have like three aces. Alex Bregman on a roller coaster. Jake Odorizzi, Bryce Harper, Kirby Yates, Archie Bradley, Pete Alonzo, the Polar Bear, followed by Mike Miner, another World Series card of the stud, Walker Bueller, Mookie Betts, Paul DeJong, and a Caleb Smith. All right, next pack. See, we're filing through these guys, man. Try to knock this out. This is going to be a long-ass video. All right. This pack's pretty heavy, too. I'll tell you what. All righty, here we go. We have an Adam Plutko. We have a Gio Gonzalez. For Wilson Contreras. Mitch Moreland. Max Kepler. Luke Voigt. Come on, Yanks. Johnny Cueto, Clayton Kershaw, Max Muncy, looks like an L.A. pack. And our next silver holofoil is a Colin Moran. Again, not a guy you want to see, but moving on. We have the Milwaukee Brewers, followed by a Shun Yamaguchi, Jack Flaherty, and a Chris Archer, you bum. All right, next pack. Yeah, wow, man. I'm going to have a sore shoulder after this thing. This is nuts. I got such a knot in that. I, can I do this with one hand? Is that possible? Damn, I need a break, bro. Okay, here we go. Dylan Carlson. So out of the six rookies, we already have four. Out of the six rookie cards you are looking for, we have four. Brandon Belin, followed by Michael Lorenzen, who's actually a pretty good hitting pitcher. Followed by Tim Anderson, Colin Moran, you bum, Kenta Maeda. We have an Omar Navarez, Orlando Arcia, Cal Ripken Jr., 35th anniversary. Out of the first box, I got a very cool first box of this I opened. Got a very cool die cut of his. We then have a Kevin Biggio, the son of the Houston Astros legend, Baltimore Orioles, Texas Rangers, Joey Wendell, and get up for those Mets. All right, next pack. We have not hit our auto yet. We have not hit a numbered card yet. Hopefully we do hit an auto. That's what we are hoping for. Rookie Anderson Tejada, followed by another rookie of Keeper Ruiz, followed by Ryan Mountcastle, rookie Gold Cup. Gold Cup is usually second year tier. We also have Carlos Correa, like a future stars, sort of. But if you haven't had 100 at-bats, you are still a rookie. Danny Santana. Here we go. Miguel Andujar. God, I wish he stays with the team or hope he stays with the team. Nelson Cruz. Christian Yelich. Oh, and we have a die cut of George, excuse me, Robin Yount. And I just purchased this card in his autograph out of 10. Should be here this week. Very cool. This is the card I was talking about that I got in Cal Ripken in the last box. This is a very cool card die cut for 70 years i'm telling you the the autograph i got of that only 10 of them in existence very cool card very happy to have that in my collection here soon colorado rockies brett gardner austin meadows see what the rays can do again this year we have an eduardo escobar and a mookie betts world series all right next pack Yeah, man, that Robin Yao. Oof, God, it's pretty. I'm trying to get as many legend autos as I can right now. I've gotten quite a few last week. I got that Phil Rizzuto. Got a Don Sutton. Yeah, trying to get as many as I can. Jesus Lizardo. 
Christian Javier rookie card, followed by a Spencer Howard rookie card, and a Albert Abreu for them Yanks rookie card. Roller coaster Ronald Guzman. Yadier Molina, probably the best catcher in the past 20, 25 years. Not to hate on my boy Buster Posey. Reese Hoskins. Aaron Judge. Marwin Gonzalez. Oh, here we go. Very cool throwback. Tony Gwen. Tops 70th. This is going to be an insert reprint, but very cool. Very happy to have that card. That's a good another thing. Like I said, these paper products, the lower end cards, usually have really good, cool inserts. Luke Weaver, Kevin Kiermeyer, Marco Gonzalez, and Wilson Ramos. As you can tell, I can say the names of baseball players a lot better than hockey players. I'll tell you what. Hockey players, soccer players, they get me every time for some reason. Hey, there we go. The second best player of the past 25 years. Mike Trout. Then we have Shane Bieber. No numbered card yet. Matthew Boyd. Should get at least one in a hobby box. Luke Voigt. Yanks coming around. Zach Britton. Willie Adams. Matt Shoemaker. Fernando Tatis Jr. I'd love an, an autograph of his out of this. Matt Olson, followed by Trevor Story, 35, 35th anniversary. Followed by New York Yankees. Andrew Benintendi, John Gray, and a rookie of Chadwick Tromp, who is a Giants that I've not heard of, and that is rare because I like the Giants because I was a huge Barry Bonds fan. Posters on my wall and everything. Here we go. Next pack. Come on, autograph. Daniel Murphy. Followed by Brad Hand. Nomar Miraza. Austin Hayes. Chris Taylor. Stud Troll. Motor City Mashers. Howie Kendrick. Man, old man still playing. Byron Buxton. Oh, son of a... God, I wanted an autograph. Major League Materials, Raphael Devers, the 70th anniversary. I don't think this is going to be game used. This relic card and worn in future by the player. Player worn memorabilia. Disaster. It is, like again, this product line as well as heritage really hard to get those autos that's why they're worth quite a bit when you hit them seth lugo rough and odor and a wilmer flores all right next pack so right now we're hoping for some very cool number cards hope maybe a 101 maybe a printing plate to try and make this box up because right now it's kind of a blown experiment trying to go for another one of these i think i'm going to get a hobby box of NFL 2021 next time to open for you guys. So we have a Tariq Skubal. It's actually a pretty good rookie to have. Charlie Blackman. Jake Bowers. Eloy Jimenez, who actually did tear a peck. Ouch. He is out for the season. Dunzo. Brandon Woodruff. Cody Whitley. Mike Yastrzemski, who have a couple cool rookie autos of Bowman Chrome. Jesus Sanchez. Oh, we got our first number card, I think, here. Christian Yelich. You know what? This might be the short print version. Let me check. Two, three, zero. You can check the codes on the bottom here, guys. Yep, that is the short print version of the Christian Yelich because the normal cards are two, one, three for their code. So if you ever wonder if something's a short print in baseball, just check the codes on the back. Lords Guriel Jr. We have a Gold Cup, Louis Robert, Francisco Lindor, and Tescacar Hernandez. All right, next pack. So we got a short print at least, too. That's pretty cool. I'll always take short prints. I collect the shit out of short prints. I got to have 500 short prints at least. So 
if something's numbered, that's still considered a short print. But when I say SP or SSP super short prints, those aren't actually numbered. They're just very limited print run. Josh Reddick. Future stars, Greater R. Broussard. Broussard Greater All, rather. Uh, Andres Jimenez, who just got traded and will be actually starting. So he's someone to look into. Nick Madrigal. Yeah, they're not going to start Ahmed Rosario over him, I don't think. Um, James Caprillion. Yeah, there we go. Sean Medea. Rolled this Chapman, the best closer in baseball. Lorenzo Cain. Jonathan Dia. Da, how do you say that? Daza? Yeah, Jonathan Daza. Elbows only. Upton and Trout. Kevin Guzman, who's a bum. Max Scherzer, who's not a bum. Los Angeles Dodgers and Garrett Richards to round out that pack. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs left. Yay! Oh, I can't feel my fingers. All right, here we go. Roberto Perez, a rookie card of Chris Bubik. We have a Bo Burrows rookie card, a Bo Bichette future stars rookie from last year. You really wanted Jacob Yunus, Miles Mikolas, JD Martinez, Ahmed Rosario. That's who I was just talking about. Jimenez is going to be playing over him. We have Hector Neris, another closer. And oh, God, ha <laughs> it did. It got me. It got me for a second. So. Uh, there are a lot of dummies out there right now that think that these are actually real cards. It's the, just the noobs. So this is not even a reprint. This is just an insert. And before this year, they didn't have to do this, but they actually now have to tell you on the card, the front of this card is a reproduction of a historic Topps baseball card. It does not contain an original autograph and or relic. Any autograph and or relic depicted is a reprint copy of the original signature and or relic material. Duh. But literally people are making the mistake in bidding hundreds of dollars on cards like this. This ain't worth a dollar, son. <laughs> oh, man. We live in the Twilight Zone. Dylan Bundy. Mitch Hanniger. Washington Nationals and the Chicago White Sox. I'm pretty sure I have the full team set already, which I actually do collect, so that's cool. Oh, this is a big heavy thicky, too. Heavy thicky. All righty. Give us a numbered card. Jose Quintana. Brian Goodwin. Trevor Bauer, who is now a Dodger, right? I don't know. Amir Garrett. DJ LeMayhew. Evan White, who I've been buying up recently. I think the Mariners are going to have a pretty good young squad this year. Jesse Winker. Followed by a rookie of Luis Garcia, who have a bunch of Bowman first autos of Carter Keyboom, who might not be playing for Washington anymore. That'll be weird. Evan Longoria. And our real first number card is of Jake Arietta. Not what we're looking for, but we will take a numbered card out of 2021. All right, here we go. Next card. Humberto Mahia. Rookie card. Nick Niedert, rookie card, and a Nick Sensel. All right, next pack. Man, these are all thickies. So much paper. They had to cut down, I think, I don't know, what's an average of each box of these 30 trees? At least 30 trees to make these cards. You have here Candelario, a rookie of Ryan Castellani. Nick Heath rookie card, followed by a Tristan McKenzie, who is looking like a stud, quite frankly. Look at that lanky bastard. Holy cow. He looks like you bullshit him out. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, my God. Harrison Bader, followed by D. Strange Gordon, who is no longer on a team. Glaber Torres for my Yanks. We have a Josh Donaldson who fell off. 
followed by Azavel Garcia, who five years ago I bet heavy on, and that was a disaster. <laughs> Clean hands needed. Yeah, COVID time. Followed by Cody Howard, rookie card. A Alex Gordon, who I think retired. Wade Davis. And Travis Darnod. All right, here we go. We have, let's see how many we got left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Going crazy. All right, next pack. All right. I mean, I've been doing so good on those retail optic boxes that I bought in the last few videos. You know, made three times my money back on investment. I do not believe I will be making it up as of right now, the investment for today, folks. Shane Bieber. Mike Fultonewski. Newswitz. Something like that. Uh, Ian Happ. Mikhail Franco. Tommy Goslin, that is a gold cup card. Louis Patino, Brandon Jewry, Mauricio Dubron, and we have a 35th anniversary of Anthony Rendon, who I sold a rookie card of today on eBay, 2011. Hey, TJ, what's up, bud? But Pokemon has been my jam the last couple of years. Hell yeah, man. Lots of money in Pokemon right now, too, bud. Let me tell you. I spent $5 on a Happy Meal and pulled a $50 card Pikachu out of that son of a bitch. Took a picture of it in my car. Sold it in 10 minutes. That's hysterical. <laughs> you Darvish. Ryan Yarborough. Arizona Diamondbacks. And the Pittsburgh pirates oh yeah man i'll take a look at that man you just send me pictures of it dude i i know how much all those are charizards you know one of those most sought after i just can't bring myself uh to spend money on those when i spend so much already on sports and comics it would just not be pretty you know what i mean casey mize sixto sanchez rookie who's a stud for that marlins crew him and uh uh, Yamato, looking good. Luis Castillo and also uh, Sandy Alcantara. They, they got a young pitching staff in Miami that's looking good. Anthony Rizzo, who might not be a Cub in a couple years. Pedro Severino, followed by Joaquim Soria. Randy Dobnak, who I just sold two rookies of. That is a regular card. Lewis Brinson. Whit Merrifield, another 35th anniversary card, Cubs, Javier Baez, Jose Urena, a rookie of Ian Anderson, David Dahl, and Oliver Perez. Big dollar Pokemons, huh, bud? Oh, yeah, man. I, I've been pulling some really short printed cards recently, man, especially the downtowns. I, I only bought five boxes of optic uh, and pulled two downtowns, uh, and that should be impossible. A downtown is one in every hobby case. So super rare that I pulled those. So here we go. Max Freed, followed by a rookie of Eduardo Oliveres, Jose Abreu, could be MVP this year if he plays well, Lurie Garcia, Austin Riley, ooh, we got some color in the back, I wonder what it is, it's shiny, Michael Taylor, Gio Urshela for them Yanks, Francisco Mejia, uh, it is just another foil card of another bum. Three foil cards, three straight up bums. Here we go. Wade LeBlanc. Them Slam Diego Padres. Trevor Williams. And a Hunter Renfro. Finishing that pack up with a Griffin Canning. 
All right, we are almost done. We have five packs left, and my arm is going to fall off. My finger's bleeding yet? I don't know. I went insane 10 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Adalberto Mondesi, Justin Verlander, Debbie Garcia, rookie. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. John Means, followed by a Lucas Giolito. Kyle Seeger, whose brother's way better at baseball than he is. Max Stasi. Got a Cody Bellinger, who's pretty good at baseball himself. JD Davis. Javier Baez, 70. That's weird. These were. They have the 30 feet, 35th anniversary looking like that right now. This is from last year. That's weird. That's weird. That's a strange reprint to have in there. Miami Marlins. Jake Arietta. AJ Pollock. And a Dwayne Dunning rookie card. Yeah, I thought about scooping some optic up. Uh, good luck, man. If you see some optic somewhere, uh, buy 100% of it if you can. Because if you can get them, which I doubt, quite frankly, but if you can, they're $20. You can sell an optic box for $100 right now. So you grab them if you see them. You let me know, bud. All right, next pack. I went to Walmart today uh, to get my new setup, my table and uh, stuff like that, and it looked like Hiroshima in the card aisle. It was ridiculous. Ooh, I think I saw a black card back there. Hopefully it's a black numbered. Chris Davis, Freddie Freeman, Raphael Devers, Marcelo Zuna. Oh, we're starting to, re starting to see cards over and over again. Capture Patrick Corbin, rather. Tony Kemp. Jay Bruce, look at that old man. Holy cow, he's going gray as in this picture. Jesus, he's old. Followed by Eric Sogard. Okay, the black was just a... Hey, Ryan Sandberg. Dude was a stud, bro. I think I got a rookie... Uh, not a rookie, but an auto of his coming in, too. I think. Can't remember. All right, stud. Albert Pujol is also running the money. Top three player the past 25 years. Followed by Roberto Azuna, rookie of Blake Taylor, walk off apart for them Giants, and a Josh Bell. All right, three packs to go, folks. Want to thank everybody again for watching with me or checking this out in the future. You are greatly appreciated. Here we go. Sonny Gray, Buck Farmer. A Street is Aquino, Jose Acorde, Daniel Johnson, rookie card, Malik Smith, Brandon Crawford, Chris Paddock, Steven Matz, Mark Ghana, a Sean Doolittle, Tampa Bay, a Devil Rays, Dab on him with Arcia. I think that's a weird Milwaukee thing to do. And a stud Juan Soto. All right. Last two packs. Actually, we have the best pack of them all, the silver pack after these. Waiting for that silver pack to get open. Hopefully, we hit an autograph in it, but those are beautiful chromium technologies. Alec Baum, that is the final of the six rookies we were looking for. We hit all six rookies you are trying to get in this box. That is pretty sweet. Gavin Lux. Raziel Iglesias, who I believe just found himself on a new team. We have David Bo Bodie. Excuse me, Bodie. Kyle Lewis. Oh, he's Gold Cup, so Kyle Lewis was rookie at the... Probably an update, I'm guessing. Steven Voigt. Trey Turner. Jorge Alfaro. Oh, damn, that's cool. Yeah, these insert reprints from this year for the 70th anniversary are very cool. Reggie Jackson. Okay, so this is the insert where they show you their first card on the front, their rookie card, and on the back is their very last card. 
that they had printed. That is a very cool, like, time capsule type of insert. I love that. Very cool. We have a Jacob deGrom, a Jock Pedersen, another Jacob deGrom. What the hell? Hold up. Wait a minute. Why are they the same picture, though? I don't like that. That's silly. Are they the same picture? No, he just looks like he's got a touch of the downs in this one. Or AIDS. I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. Brendan McKay and a Tyler Chatwood. All right. Last pack before the silver pack. And holy cow, I need some Advil. All righty. Jonathan Lester. We have a Starling Marte. Miami did good on picking him up. A playful bout of juniors. I hope he punches him in the mouth. Brandon Workman. We have a Brandon Kitzler. Garrett Cole, the ace of Demyanks. Please have a numbered card in here for Christ's sake. Mitch Keller. Jerks in Profar. Will Smith. And a home run derby card of Joey Gallo. Well, I mean, he hits home runs, but... Poo-poo. Ronald Acuna Jr. Yuli Gurriel. Ian Kennedy. And Shane Bieber. That's pretty upsetting. We only hit one numbered card in this outrageously priced box. I'm hoping that means that this here silver pack has some fire in it. Again, the autos out of these silver packs are incredibly rare. So that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, TJ, let me know if you hit something, bud. Take pictures when you see them live. I'd love to see it, man. It's just impossible to find retail in the, sh in the store because grown-ass men are camping out outside, literally camping on the days that they and waiting for the vendor to come in. And there's a line of, you know, men in their 40s trying to get them all. So here we go. First up, nice, Evan White rookie cards see what i was talking about this moho silver these are pretty cards next up we have an ichiro nice looking like a mariners pack very sweet i don't think we have a colored one nope we have next up a robin yount very cool two legends but no color in the final card is a George Brett. All right. So our silver box was a whole bunch of legends. How about that? George Brett. Robin Yount. Ichiro. Three Hall of, He will be in the Hall of Fame. But two Hall of Famers. A guy going in the Hall of Fame. And an Evan White rookie card. So, could have been worse on that silver pack. I'll take it. So, just to recap real quick, basketball, that basketball a hobby pack was the best thing we hit. We got this beautiful three-colored jersey patch, Jersey King rookie of Onyeka Okongwu out of 25. As you can see, 22 of 25. And then we also hit the Ziki Inaji out of 99. And the Isaac Okoro out of, oh, out of 10. Didn't even notice that. Four out of 10. Damn, I'm going to have to see what that's going for. That is incredibly short printed. Did not notice that the first time through, folks. So, again, thank you for watching. If you saw this live, TJ, thank you very much, bro. Check me out again. Uh, you can go and see my back videos i think there's six of them up there you can see some of the serious fire pulls from the last couple videos um and yeah man any questions whatsoever just hit me up bud all right and again thank you everybody and uh i will see you soon have a good night